Hi, I'm Dan Valencic. I'm the assistant principal here at Christian Brothers High School, Lewisham. I've uh, got a few boys back on campus this week, which is really good news. Uh, so we thought we'd do a bit of a Q&A with the boys uh, just to see what it's like being back on school campus uh, after so many weeks at home in isolation. Friends. Friends. Canteen. Oh, so and not friends. Like, and friends. Right, not the classroom. Um, um, friends. Um, playing handball with them. Yep. Socialising. Uh, I miss my mates and hand. Yeah. Did you get missed, um, you know, like getting told to fix your tie up and stuff or not? No. Maybe you need to. I like playing handball and I also liked um, just being around the teacher and having like my mates near me to talk and we're on board yeah, cool. and stuff. So I guess we didn't miss having our school uniform on, is that correct? I love that. I like Mufti. Yeah. Mufti was, Mufti was something that I could definitely get used to. Ah, uh, the teachers here at Lewisham. Okay, and? Not to be controversial, the teachers at Lewisham. Mum, she, she, she actually admitted, I'm not going to teach you this year, okay? You, ha you have your own teachers and you have yourselves. Her exact words. Is that exactly how she says that? Yes. Uh, probably, um, my teacher, but my mum and dad were both with teachers saying that they're not actually like teachers. Yeah. Well, actually, no, my mum's a tutor, online tutor. But yeah, cool. Yeah. Lucky you then. And what about yourself? For me, it's my teachers. For English, it's my mum because she's an author. But for maths, it's my dad because mum's not good at maths. Um, neither for me. It's probably my brother. He's uh, really good with maths and technology. My mum is a teacher's aide, so... Yeah. Right, but Dad was the better teacher. Yeah. Right, okay, we'll leave it at that then, I think. Um, it was either playing outside with my brother or doing some work in the shed with my dad because, like, we have a remote control car and so we're building ramps. Stuff, but I fall over, so that's probably the most memorable <laughs> thing. Like, I fall over a lot. If you f And there's probably about three cats on each side. And one of them just decided to amble up and jump on me when I was stretching. Um, I got scarred pretty badly, but it was probably the most hilarious moment of my life. So. I'm going in my pool with my brothers and going bike riding. Yeah, cool. So old old school activities, yeah? Hanging out with the family. Doing TikToks in my bedroom. Probably when I woke up at 12 noon. I just like, re I just still remember that now. Right. My most memorable memory or moment was um, when I went over to my mum's house and we got some tadpoles, right? And we, we got like a little um, bowl. Really nice. Wash your hands regularly and hand sanitizer. Yep. Um, just don't treat this like your house trick it, like the school again. Good advice. Just be cautious as well. You don't want to go up and touch people a lot. Use your elbows. Keep your distance and use your elbows when you, or your feet when you like, want to greet your friends. Yeah, cool. Listen to the teachers, wash your hands, don't hug each other or, or, um, or, or just don't touch each other often. Uh, like, be ready and also be careful, like, don't go around touching people, just, you know, do the elbow and, yeah, just stay careful. Yeah, cool. My advice would be, like, get creative with, like, greetings or, like, maybe you could make up a handshake or something without using your hands and just generally stay safe. In one, take four, and action.